I'm Harley. Tonight on Harley Cinema the Sleepy Time Cinema Selection. I thought alliteration would be helpful. It is not always. <laughs> um, I am reviewing Altered Carbon, which just came out on Netflix in 2018. Unfortunately, it has not been confirmed that they're going to do another season, although I really think they should because this was really, really good. And the interesting thing about this is with the premise of the show, they don't even have to have, have, to have the same actors to come back. So they don't necessarily have to wait for the actors to be done filming other projects or anything like that because um, the premise is that humanity has found a way to store consciousness, um, our, what makes us us, in like a little digital disc and this disc can be moved from body to body so that uh, ultimately the people who are um, rich enough can live forever and the uh, middle class or poorer people um, they might live longer than normal um, but it's kind of interesting because if you are uh, say you're you're transgender you're born Inside, you just know you're a boy, but you've been, you know, in, put into a girl's body. You can, instead of having to undergo all of this, like, therapy and surgeries and all of this, you can just put your consciousness on a disc and buy a boy body and be a boy. Um, it's a way for uh, people who have loved ones that they want to revisit. Um, basically, on the Day of the Dead, they have a huge festival um, where you can rent bodies to bring grandma back for the day and uh, have her have dinner with y'all. Um, <laughs> it's also a way that people who are killed can come back and identify their killers. Um, there's a whole victim's rights uh, portion of the show that they go into where basically if you are killed before your time, uh, you're guaranteed a body but you're not necessarily guaranteed the best body, so you may not like what you get. You may not want to come back in the body they put you in. Um, the So that's like the underlying theme of the show is like the repercussions of this. Um, the, the main part of the show, though, focuses on a detective named Kovach who has been uh, considered a war criminal, but also one of the best detectives um, in history. So a, a really rich person named Lawrence Bancroft uh, buys him, basically buys his consciousness and puts it in a body so that he can have Kovach figured out, figure out who uh, prematurely murdered, who prematurely murdered Bancroft. Here's where it gets confusing. So Bancroft is rich, obviously. He uh, has a lot of money. He's lived for like 400 years. Um, and to do this, to, to keep all of your experiences, you have to like download your daily experience um, so that when you move from one body to the next, you have all of your accumulated experiences there. Does that make sense? So if this is usually done at the same time every day, if someone wants to kill you without you knowing who it is, they have to kill you before you download your backup for the day. And that's what this person has done to Bancroft. Um, they have they've killed him before he could back up his daily experience. So he comes back, but he doesn't remember who killed him, um, who killed his previous body, basically. So that's where he decides to hire Kovach to uh, figure out what happened and who did this to him. And that's the crux of the story, if you will. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, it really is a good show. It's uh, really caught my attention quickly. I think I was completely in by the end of the first episode, and I had to power through the rest. Uh, there's a total of 10 episodes. Um, and what's really nice about this particular series that I like is that it is wrapped up in a way that if they don't pick it back up, it's totally okay. Like, everything from this se season is kind of addressed and has come to a conclusion. Um, there are a couple of open-ish things that they can come back to and they can expand upon, but if there's nothing more of this uh, particular series, it was really entertaining, first of all. All of my questions are answered, secondly, which I love, and then um, third, it doesn't hurt anything 
that the people in it um, don't need to come back to, to, to make it, to continue the show. So if you have a different actor play the, a, the character, it's not going to take away from the overall experience because of the premise of the show. Uh, Joel Kinnaman uh, plays Takashi Kovac. Um, he, Joel Kinnaman, most recently, he was in Suicide Squad, and he's rumored to come back in, um, and play in the next um, spinoffs from Suicide Squad. Uh, why am I drawing a huge blank on the character that he plays? He's, um... Oh, crappy crap. Uh, he's the boyfriend of the Enchantress, and I cannot remember what his name is. This is going to kill me. Um, and then James uh, Purefoy plays Lawrence Bancroft, who is the rich guy in the series. But uh, both actors do a really good job. There's a lot of other people in the series, too, but those are the two main people that are in every single episode. Um, so that's what I focused on. Um, so let me know what you think. If you've uh, checked this out, um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if it raised moral issues for you, because it does kind of address some of those things in this episode, or in, not in the, it's not an episode, in the series, um, of if this were able to, to be, to come about, um, should we, should we be able to live longer than, um, expected or is it immoral? Um, is it against God's plan? If you believe in God, uh, so let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, make sure to give me a thumbs up, tell your friends to subscribe. You should also subscribe. So you get the notification and you can watch for new episodes. Oh, baby back girl's waking up. She's moving. <laughs> She's getting feisty. So I got to wrap this up. I will talk to you all real soon. I hope you're all doing well. Bye.